A knee injury kept AJ Griffin from being 100% at the very start of the season, but as time went on and he earned more minutes, he showed why he was such a highly touted recruit and NBA draft prospect. At a physically developed 6'6", AJ was about as knocked down a shooter can be. He had moments of self-creation and overall untapped potential that's made him a possible lottery pick. I think it's safe to call AJ one of the better shooters we've seen in the last several years and his pre-college work is as wild as what he did at Duke, which makes me very confident in saying that. He ended the season shooting just a bit under 45% on 4 attempts and every shot he took felt like it was going in. He did the vast majority of his damage as a spot up guy and demonstrated a great feel for corner drifts, lifts, and relocating into his teammates vision that really impressed me as well. Three. Didn't get enough into his jump on the dunk try. And a three. Here's Griffin left open. Oh, goodness. And speaking. He's the double on Van Barrow to kick to Griffin. And do. Griffin tries again. He's got it. Ote got hit in the face. Wide open in the corner. Griffin. He's a good passer, so they want to cut off him. Switch Wartenberg now on Bankero. Griffin, another three. He should look to drive that. Another. Duke Office Wake Forest. One of the best scoring teams of the ACC in run over the last four minutes. Griffin left open. Griffin steps in. Two or three. Minneapolis. In uniforms with red shirted. Here is Griffin. Got the three. three. Yeah, this go up by double figures. Heels working right on Williams. There's Griffin. That's a good look. And, and Carroll only attempted one in the second half. He loves that drive spin. Griffin, tough shot. Got it. Oh. Williams out of the double. And Carroll wanted it right by him to Griffin. Griffin's triple. We got We've it. got here, guys. One point game. 342 to go. It wasn't a ton of attempts, some due to his role, some just due to his attributes, but AJ still flashed a lot of potential off the dribble. Starting from deep, he loved these misdirection pickups. I think these are some of the better innovations or trends of the last several years, and he's got it down, usually going between the legs, heading back left. And you also can't go wrong with having the step back as a staple either. The rebounder has more of an opportunity to follow the flight of the ball. The defense is Winding down. Griffin just takes a step back and pulls up over Mutz. Such a step back three. Griffin. It's good. Average 18 to 9 last year. There's another three. Here's AJ Griffin. Step back. In the offseason. Coming back is Griffin. Student as well. Currently pursuing his second master's degree. This Carolina one. can get a couple of stops, a couple of scores. This game will look a lot different in the second half. Oh, that's gone to a man to man. Griffin. Pull up, pop. Hits it by Roach. Griffin. Pull up. Yeah. And another turnover just thrown away by Horton. Griffin in the lane, sweetly. The first step isn't the greatest, but he does have a very interesting combination of fluidity and physical attributes. And then attacking the rim, he'll give you a lot of that same misdirection, some hezzies and curl dribbles. And his size and touch really help him out as a finisher. That part of the, the Hall of Fame you see him is Coach K's office. John goes and stays in his office or goes somewhere different. Griffin, tough drive and one. A neutral court win over Providence. That would be a loud statement tonight for the Hoos. Griffin taking it. Shooter because that becomes the strong side. Griffin fouled before the shooter makes the stretches the floor. It's just a different, different team makeup. Play against the Blue Devils. Big Monday. 27 NBA scouts on hand. Got to make sure he doesn't get involved in playing here. NBA roll up. Chuck Daly used to. Anybody's hot? The works come to it. That's Griffin. Don't make hot. Make him guard on the perimeter. Puff Johnson just into the game. 
to my George. Love two scores. Nine two stretch. Griffin, pretty. Nice and easy. Been in the paint much more. Uh, Mike Krzyzewski. And attitude, handling adversity. All of those things that have stood out for you. Griffin looking for his right now. And look. To the basket, draw the defender, and then dish it off to Aluma. Griffin was a little farther. Bigger than Virginia Tech's perimeter players. Mutt's really working hard on Bantero. Moore looking inside. Griffin, yes! Neo John gathers. Gets caught under the backboard. Finds the cutter. It's Griffin. Plus the foul! And the beautiful find to A.J. Griffin with the great cut. Shot clock at seven. Wendell Moore gives it up. Keels for, for A.J. John. Tough catch. Finds Griffin. And a foul. A great goal. recruiting class coming in. Kentucky's matching it recruit for recruit. They just got great news today. Inside to Williams. Now starting off the improvement areas, I was a bit disappointed in AJ defensively on the ball and I'd say I'm more concerned about him here than some of the others that caught flack on this end. Now this could be somewhat a function of him recovering from injury and not playing high level ball in a while, but he left more to be desired in terms of lateral quickness and containment on the perimeter and it needs to be a point of emphasis. Hi Wendell Moore, Jaden Zachary trying to say improvement from last year to this year. Incredible. Consistent. Nice bit of dribbling here. He can impact the game in every aspect of the stat sheet, especially on the right side. I actually think he was pretty solid off the ball in terms of positioning, except he was too consistently beat on back doors, getting stuck ball watching, or sometimes even overplaying, leading to those freebies. The feeders. Walk, I thought. Oh, banner. Nice cut. Goes underneath the arms. Chestnut Hill. Jaden Zachary driving, good pass, and Brevin. And he's made, what, 35 of them on the year. Good backdoor ball. He's not letting him catch the ball. Backdoor! Oh! penetrating move. There's a lot of blue bodies down there. Point extra for three. Now, I do think he still made enough positive plays in multiple areas of the defensive game that make me believe he can be passable, especially given his tools and history, but he is definitely more of a work in progress than maybe you would have assumed, and it stood out more focusing just on him while re-watching these games. AJ can continue to be more decisive, assertive, and tighten up his handle. I really like his baseline offensive skill set, but there were times where he'd kind of float through games and also turn down some good looks or kick it out when he could have created something. And he really does some unique things handle-wise that could just get a little loose and less efficient at times. Also, just being more willing to use that frame to his advantage when attacking, given he doesn't have the quickest first step, is another key. There's Griffin again, trying to run. Maybe they get the matchup they want out of a nice extra. Now, move. back in high school, AJ was also a pretty impressive athlete on top of all the other things. And being that he is still senior in high school, aged in the time he missed due to injuries, I think we could very easily see him regain a lot of that. Griffin gets inside. Left it Throw 
to him. Go to Griffin instead. Optimal performance, BC offensively, eight to nine. You saw right away Van Carroll trying to take Hauser, but Bingham inside and woo, they went first before they survived. Griffin, the runner, wraps one around. All ACC for the second year in a row. And again, with no Mark Williams, Aluma going to work down on the block. Look at A.J. Griffin, nice kick to Trevor. Ten seconds on the timer. Here's A.J. Griffin looking for National win. Defensive Player of the Year, leading the ACC in blocks. He's in the top ten nationally from the corner. I think A.J. Griffin should get more of the benefit of the doubt in terms of his upside. His ceiling is tough to gauge, but I'm thinking lower end of the borderline all-star, somewhere in that top 45-ish range on average, and that's reliant on his athletic growth, specifically as it relates to his defense and creation. Regardless, his baseline skill set should find him in a rotation for years and on some really great teams. He's safely projected in the lottery, though I'd consider him somewhere in the middle of it. And my favorite landing spots for him are OKC, Indiana, and New Orleans. But I'm thinking some intersection of Desmond Bain's role, impact, and similar strengths mixed with the tools and aesthetic similarities of Jimmy Buck. Bain is there, number two. And the style that it was done in, too. Down the middle goes Bain! Butler muscled it up and make a move and a counter move down there on the block. Oh, Butler. Okay. Went into the post. Now, Butler, the fadeaway 15. AJ Griffin is the type of prospect I'd be willing to bet on as his combination of attributes and effectiveness at that age are pretty rare. He's got some things to work on in attack, but he already has an elite skill, great physical attributes, and the type of upside that he flashed at Duke and stuff he did pre-college keep me invested and intrigued. So I forever be the second Who rep Lamar Park is something you ain't got a question They like, now I'm grown up Better than we expect You can sit up on my show